Okay, welcome back everyone. I'm Kurt. And um today since we're nearing Christmas time, I thought I'd show my um Christmas movie collection. Now, um I don't have very many Christmas movies, but um hold on a second. I don't have very many Christmas movies, but Um, because these are ones that I bought last Christmas. Um, but I'll probably buy a few more this year and a few more next year and stuff. So here we go. First of all, we have, uh, I have, um, a Christmas Carol with, um, this is the 2009 one with Jim Carrey playing Scrooge and, um, And it's, the, I do like this one, it's not my favorite version, but I do like this one. I especially like watching it with my um, family and stuff. It's a nice movie and everything. And then I have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, right here. Here's, oh, never mind, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is one of my favorite Christmas specials. Um, right there. I'd like to get, um, some of the other ones sometime, like, um, Rudolph, like, um, Frosty and, um, the sequels, like the Rudolph's Shiny New Year and the Frosty's Winter Wonderland and the Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July and stuff like that sometime, but I have, um, Rudolph for now, because that's probably my favorite of the, um, Rankin-Bass stop-motion Christmas specials. And it has this nice slip cover. I'm not really a big fan of slip covers, but that's nice. And then I have these, um, these two box sets, which have four movies each on them. So it's for a total of eight movies. And this is like the cheapest way to get these movies. The first box set has, um, Home Alone, uh, the, the Christmas Carol from 1984, Jingle All the Way, and The Miracle on 34th Street, the 1994, um, remake. Um, and the other one has... The original Miracle on 34th Street, Deck of the Halls, Home Alone 2, and, um, Prancer. Um, usually these movies are, like, at a higher price. This is, like, the cheapest way to get them getting these box sets, and they come in these really nice slip cases. Um, I prefer the original, but the remake... Of Miracle on 34th Street isn't that bad. I actually thought it was actually well done. Even though I still prefer the original. Home Alone. Um. Is another movie. Um. I don't like it as much as other people like it. But it's still. It's still a really fun movie. Um. One of the main reasons I got this set was because it has my um. Favorite version of A Christmas Carol, um, and, um, I really wanted this on DVD, so finding this set was, like, really nice and everything. Right there, A Christmas Carol. Um, 
and Jingle All the Way. Which is another movie that I think is pretty funny. Um, what's really cool is this has both the widescreen and the full screen. Like one side is full screen and the other is widescreen. And I, of course, I don't really watch the, um, the full screen because I don't want to see parts of the image be cut off. But that's really nice for... Because in my opinion, that's the way DVDs should be done. If you're going to have a full screen version at all, you should just put it on the other side of the disc rather than forcing me to shop around looking for a separate disc and everything just so I can find my widescreen version. Um, and there's a few... Miracle on 34th Street is perfect. Home Alone and... um. Home Alone 2, um, both use a non-anamorphic widescreen transfer. Like, it's still widescreen, so it's the full image, but it's non-anamorphic, which doesn't bother me too much, but it still would have been nice to have, like, a, a better transfer of that, but oh well. Um... A Christmas Carol is absolutely perfect. It's like, because it was made for TV, so it's automatically in full screen. So that's fine. Jingle All the Way, like I said, has both the full screen and the wide screen. Like the Jingle All the Way. Um, Prancer, um, this is a movie that I liked when I was younger, but watching it, when I'm older, it doesn't really hold up. It's still good, but it doesn't hold up. Um, I haven't seen Deck of the Halls. It's not really the one I bought the set for. Like, this is the one I was least interested in the set. Never heard of it. I don't know if it's good or not. I've heard, I've heard mixed reviews on it. It's a more recent movie, so I don't know what it's doing in a Christmas Classics collection, but... I guess this has both the full screen and the white... It does, okay. That's cool, both the full screen and the wide screen. And, um... One set. But yeah, so I haven't seen it, so I'm gonna have to watch this sometime to see what my opinion is on it. And, of course, Prancer is okay, but it doesn't hold up. And then, Miracle on 34th Street, it's made, it's made in full screen because it's before widescreen existed, but it's the colorized version. That's the one problem with it. But that's not too bad because the colorized version of this movie, um, isn't really that bad. I've seen way, way worse. I mean, I, I still don't like it, but I've seen way, way worse for colorized movies, but, and to be honest, if I turn the color off on my TV, I don't really, I, it doesn't really bother me that much if I just turn the color off on my TV, and then it still looks reasonably like the regular version of the movie, so... Those are my Christmas movies, and I know this video is really short because I don't, I don't really know why I felt the need to show my collection, but I just thought it would be interesting, especially since these are some of my favorites here, but um, I'll see you in my next video whenever that is. Bye.